Hi there, welcome to this next video in this Zebra series. This one is going to be looking at the FMOs. Now the FMOs are very similar to the normal oscillators. They've got a lot of uh, similar processes and parameters, especially all of this stuff here. Although you'll see an immediate difference. We've got four oscillators. They've each got their own section. Whereas FMO, the four sections are in here for the key gain and the velocity gain. That's it. There's still four FMOs, but they're controlled through the one panel. It doesn't really make that much difference. Okay, um, FMO, Frequency Modulation Oscillator. We'll just add one. Here we go. So it's got several different input modes as defined by this section here. So at the moment, FM by input, it's just a sine wave. But um, basically what that means is it's modulated by its own input or by its input. So if I was to have an oscillator here. That's it modulating the input of that oscillator. But I don't want to confuse things too much, so we'll just move that out the road. And we'll go through it step by step. So FM by input basically means that the FMO is modulated by its input. So whatever's been input into it, if you right click, go input 1. Put the oscillator here, input 1, it's now been modulated by whatever's going into its input, which in this instance is input 1, is oscillator 1. Now don't let that confuse you, just, just think of it as the FM by input means that the FMO is being modulated by its input. Modulated being, um, yeah, being modulated by its input, and the FM knob is the input level. And it can get really crazy. So that just sounds like a saw wave that would be coming from there. If I turn that off, saw wave, turn that on. Saw wave with obviously some FM overtones in the background. Okay, then you've got FM, let me just turn the oscillator off. FM self plus. What that means is the frequency modulator oscillator modulates itself. This produces, I guess, brighter tones. And it can be almost sawtooth-like. There. That sounds like a sawtooth to me. If you put it above 50%, so it's a 40 at the moment, you'll start to hear digital noise, which can be useful in some instances. There it is. You've got RM input. Well, that means that it's ring modulated by an input. So when there's no, nothing going into it, you won't get anything. Nothing at all. You've got to have something going into input 1 or in whatever input. And then you'll get a sound, but it's just coming right through. And you can create some nice tones with that. And as soon as you use the tune in, you get the ring modulation. Again, it's just something you would mess around with. The next one is filtered FM. Let me just reset everything to where they should be. Filtered FM is similar to, what was the other one? FM by input, although the FM knob in this instance opens a low pass filter, that's it. So you've got a low pass filter there. Nice warm tone though. It's lovely. It's great sounding. And then next we've got FM Self 2 Plus, which is similar to FM Self Plus. However, the input signal equals the output squared. Now, I know this is getting all complicated, so the best thing to do is just let you hear it. Um, it basically creates a triangle or a square wave tone. In between 25 and 30, you get a fin wave. 
round about there. Nice and crisp and clean. Again, above 50 you'll get noise. Nice tuning. Obviously, if you don't have an oscillator going into it, um, because it's modulating itself, this is where the triangle and the square wave tones come from. It's lovely that. Really clean and crisp. Excellent. And then we've got some more, we've got some basic settings here as well. Uh, you already know pan, what pan does, that's its modulation, what volume does, that's its modulation, and as the width, the width control. You've also got a mono and a stereo here, so mono, stereo. Mono. It's self-explanatory, I believe. And the rest is pretty much the same. You've got the FM depth, which is generally the input level of a source, including itself, which I've explained or a tune. Same as a synth, uh, an oscillator. Plus minus 48. Detune, again. Detune in. Vibrato. Vibrato. As, again, there's no point in explaining this to you. It's exactly the same as an oscillator. Okay, in this lower panel, again, it's exactly the same as an oscillator, apart from there's four and one instead of four. The four oscillators have their own one. You've got the key gain, which again is the scaling to the midi note. Horizontals, midi note, verticals, gain. Then you've got the velocity gain, which is the level scaling to velocity, which is the bottom one down here. And again, horizontals, midi, velocity, verticals, gain, exactly the same as the oscillator section. And you've got the key scaling, which is exactly the same. The midi note to the pitch, centred around E2, and it's bipolar. And at 100, it's semitone. Same, exactly the same. You've got different options of sine wave, of, of um, waves down here. It's a quadratic sine, AM sine. Half a sine wave, AM shift, etc. Just different, just different waves that you can mess around with instead of just being stuck with a pure sine wave. I think that's it for this. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty self-explanatory. FM, um, you can get some great sounds, great for bells and stuff, but oh, just a whole host of nasty, deep sounds, cutting edge that will come through the mix no problem. So. That's it really, there's not, I don't really want to overcomplicate this because people get freaked out with FM synthesis. Um, just experiment. I do love the tones that it comes out with. See these high frequency tones? I'm a big fan of those, especially with a little bit of delay and reverb on them. Let's put a delay on there as well. I used to use them all the time. In my music. And of course, you can do all kinds of things. LFO. Oops. LFO 1. Change it to sample and hold. I love this. <laughs> Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. That's your FMO oscillator. I hope that helped. Any questions, just ask in the forum. Thanks a lot. Bye.